parts. I just know the prison stuff. And now I don't look at it like that. I just realize that people are uh, curious about that. And, uh, and it's kind of cool because I've, I've connected with other humanitarians that know that the drug war and prisons are breeding bigger criminals. We shouldn't be locking everybody up for low-level drug offenses where in prison the addiction is bred into an affliction, much harder to escape. You know, there's gangs, there's a lot of violence. And so I get to, I get to show the world that. One thing I do struggle with is, uh, like, because I'm in church all the time, and, I'm try and I love getting closer to God, one thing I struggle with is, like, when am I going to break free of writing about this stuff, you know? It's like I feel like I'm stuck in it almost at times, but uh, so I'm just waiting for God to reveal what's next. A lot of what I've been hoping for is to uh, speak more at, at places and do more for God that's separate from, you know, the prison stuff. You know, so I'm, I'm waiting to see what God has in store for me as far as that goes. Um, it's definitely, uh, oh, back to what it helps me understand about myself. Writing did help me understand the uh, insignificance of, of, um, of myself, really. You know, that, that before I used to think, you know, that life should work my way, uh, things should work the way I think they should work, and eventually, you know, the program will teach you this also, that um, life on life's terms, yeah, life's not that fair, but it is a spiritual journey. So writing helped me see that uh, how insignificant, how small I am in the grand scheme of things. And uh, I remember when I got out, I went to, I went to Capitol Calvary, and uh, I talked to one of the care department pastors, and he saw I was on fire for the Lord, and he said something that stuck with me this whole time, and I still I reflect on it all the time. He said, to get out of my own way, and to let, you know, just stay out of your own way, because when, you, when you're trying so hard, you're not letting God do what, what he's going to do and you get in the way of it, and you pretty much delay what he has for you by, by trying so hard and tr trying on your own merits to do it. It's almost like when I was little, my mom would say, because I used to play a lot of sports, my mom would say not to brag, let other people do the bragging for you. So, you know, we want something real bad, we try so hard, we don't realize it, but we might be bragging or whatever. So I, I always reflect on what he said to, to not get in the way of, of, of what's happening. So just... Um, I guess what I'm supposed to get out of that is to uh, just let go and let God, let Him handle it. You know, you got to do what you got to do, but at the same time, uh, have faith. Have faith that uh, that that He's He's going to take care of everything.